If you like this video, click on that subscribe button and be notified of more great ideas. A pin punch is used to keep a spring-loaded ball bearing inside the hole, just like this one on the uh, socket extension. It uh, moves in and out, but will not fall out of the hole. I had been making my pin punches like this one, but I found that uh, every time I wanted to change the ball size, I had to make a new punch because the hole in the end of the punch had to be the same as the ball size. So I've come up with a different idea. This is my new pin punch right here. And on top of it now we have a 3 16 ball sitting. And I put that there so you could see the, the need for that. I'm trying to get that in focus. Well, there's a little indentation at the end made with a center drill actually. And this is a 5 16 uh, or pardon me, a 7 16 uh, piece of drill rod. And what I've done is put a, uh, a radius on the end, which is a 7 16 radius, and it's fairly true to a 7 16 radius because I used a, a radius tool to do that. And we're going to use this instead of that old pin punch, and uh, we're going to have a look and see how it works. What we're going to do is take a bolt like this. This is a 3 8 bolt. Allen head and we're going to put a spring and a ball in the end and then we're going to use that punch to keep the ball from coming out. So our ball is 1875 inches, 0.1875, uh, 3 16 So we want to drill a hole that's a little bit bigger than the ball is so the ball will go in the hole. We use a number 12, that's a number drill and it's 0.189 so it's a couple thousandths bigger. And the spring that we're going to use, we've got that in the end of here. And we measured the length of the spring and then we shortened it down. That's locked. We shortened it down and took a measurement of the spring when it was compressed. To that compressed measurement, we added the diameter of our ball, the 3 16 ball. And that's how deep we drilled the hole. So here's the hole in the end. Now uh, you can probably see that that hole is not in the center and the reason for that is this is a pretty cheap screw and uh, the head on the screw is not running concentric to the threaded part. But that's just fine for demonstration purposes. Uh, we'll use the screw and see if the punch works. So we've got the spring in the hole then we put the bearing on top of the spring. I'm going to try our new punch out. See if we can get it to stay in there. So the punch is sitting pretty good on top. I'm going to push as hard as I can and then give it a smack with the hammer. Well, it's in there all right. It looks like it's in there a little bit too much. We'll take it over to the workbench and have a better look. Okay, we're just going to give that a push with the screwdriver and see if we've got some motion. Yep, I can feel it going. We're at the top, now we go down, now the ball pops back out. So it worked, it seems to have worked quite well. That ball is not coming out of there and we do have some action on the ball and that's what we're looking for. I did heat treat this punch and I'll uh, put a reference in the comments below uh, to my video on home heat treating so you can see how that would be done. But it just involved a propane torch and uh, a big glass of cold water and it does a very nice job. There's not a scratch on this and I hit it several times pretty hard. So if you want to watch that it's in the comments below. Just to give you a nice close-up of how the end of that new peen punch looks, you can see that I've left a, a slightly raised portion on the top of the ball, and then I put a center drill just a little bit into it, just enough so it centers the ball.